Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving back into the NHV boot to explore an essential topic, backing up your Windows operating system to an image file. This backup or imaging comes to the rescue when you encounter errors or issues with your Windows OS. Even if your Windows is running smoothly, it's important to back it up to prepare for unexpected situations like boot errors, Windows corruption, or the blue screen of death or BOSD. And here's a friendly reminder. Before trying the NHV Boot Rescue Toolkits on your working computer, always prioritize protecting your Windows and data by creating a backup. Those rescue toolkits may not always behave perfectly and could potentially mess up your hard drive in certain conditions. Stay prepared and keep your system safe. In this section, we'll explore how to use the AOMA Backupper to backup our disk you will see how easy it is when you restore your Windows on the new disk. Let's go ahead and launch the AOMA Backupper and go to the Backup menu. Select Disk Backup since we want to backup our entire hard disk to an image file. In the Disk Backup Wizard, I'll enter a task name such as PC2 and click on Add Disk. On the screen, you can see my 250GB GPT disk that I want to back up, so I'll select it to back up all its partition. Then I confirm the selection. Next, I need to choose a location for my image file. I'll click on the arrow and select a local path, which is the PC2 folder on my external USB drive. You can see the image will be created right here in the Windows Explorer. Before starting the backup process, let me show you several options. In the advanced options, I'll uncheck the setting to avoid creating additional folders in the target location. In compression, you can choose between normal or high compression. However, for our testing purpose, I'll leave it as the default. For splitting, I'll stick with the default settings as well. The operation priority is to set to normal. In the backup mode section, I'll keep it as the Intelligent Sector Backup by default. This feature allows backing up the used sector of the file systems to reduce the size of the image file and the backup time. In Backup Services, I'll choose the default Microsoft VSS settings. Microsoft VSS or Volume Shadow Copy Service is great because it lets you backup your files and applications even when they're in use, ensuring your data is protected and it's best to run backups when your computer is not too busy. In the general section, I'll enter test as a note for this backup. If you want to encrypt the backup file, enable this feature and enter the password right here. All right, let's kickstart the backup process now. For more details, just click on the link provided here. As the backup gets underway, you can keep an eye on the speed and how much time is left right here. And there you have it. The operation is finished and if you take a look in the explorer, you'll see my backup image file. Now, it's important to ensure the integrity of the image. Head over to the tools menu and select check image. You can either choose the task name or manually browse to the image location. Click Next to proceed. And done! The tool runs quite fast, confirming that the image is valid and perfectly intact. In this section, I'll demonstrate the recovery process. Let's assume I want to recover my windows to this new and empty disk. Open AOMA back upper again and go to the restore menu. Click on select image file and navigate to the external USB drive where I stored the backup image. In the image information wizard, I'll choose to restore the entire disk. So I select the first option and choose the whole disk or disk zero, including all partitions. On the disk restore menu, Select the destination disk and click Next. A message will appear informing that the destination disk will be overwritten. Confirm if it's okay, keeping in mind that the destination disk should be new and empty. 
on the operation summary page, the source disk from the image is displayed on the left, and the destination disk is shown on the right. Before proceeding, let's briefly discuss the three options at the bottom. The first option is Universal Restore, and it's super handy when you want to restore the image on different computers. This feature comes in really useful, especially when you're moving your Windows OS to a new computer. Select this if you're doing so. The second option is SSD Alignment, which should be chosen if you're restoring the image on a SSD. The last option leads us to the Edit Partitions menu, where you can perform tasks like copying partitions without resizing or adding unused space to all partitions in case the new disk is larger. In my case, I'll choose Copy Without Resizing Partitions and confirm it. Just go ahead and click on the Start Restore button to kick off the process. You'll be able to keep an eye on the speed and how much time is left right here. Once it's done, your Windows will be back up and running on the new disk. Let's put it to the test by giving the computer a restart and seeing if it boots up without a problem. Look at that, it's booting up into Windows smoothly just like it did on the old disk. Everything seems to be working fine, and if you want to see what kind of disk format, you can use the disk management tool to confirm that the new disk is in the GBT format. We have successfully completed our task on backing up and recovering a disk image using NHV Boot, the ultimate computer rescue toolkit. This procedure can also be used for migrating your Windows OS to a new disk. If you found this video helpful, we would greatly appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.